With over 1,800 miles of beach filled coastline, average temperatures that rarely drop below 16 degrees, and the fact that the Bahamas are closer to Miami than Manchester is to London, there are more reasons to visit Florida than just to pick up a cruise. So keep watching Planet Cruise Weekly. Well, hello and welcome to episode 96 of Planet Cruise Weekly, where this week we're cruising along the sun-scorched coast of Florida with most of the world's biggest cruise lines, including Carnival, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Lines being based in Florida and its proximity to the Caribbean, many of us will at some point fly out to the Sunshine State to pick up a cruise ship. And more and more of us are seeing the sense of combining that cruise holiday with either a pre or post land based stay. And here to talk about all this is my old cruise mucker, Mr. Glenn. Hello, mate. How Mr. are you? Mr. Glenn was. I'm, I'm good, thanks. How was your Christmas? How was your New Year? Busy. Took the family over to Disneyland Paris. So it was just me, three of us, and 200,000 other people. <laughs> now, look at you all turned up. I know. Barbados. Oh. Family moon. Now, in fact, Florida has been a popular destination for the Brits for many years in its own right. So today on Planet Cruise Weekly, we're going to explore some of the reasons to extend your next trip and make sure you take advantage of all that Florida has to offer. Now, a word of warning, though, there are so many things to do and see in Florida that unfortunately we can't mention everything. So if we forget to mention something you've done before in Florida, please let us know in the comments section below. And remember, of course, that when it comes to Florida, if you are going to cruise out of Fort Lauderdale or possibly Miami, yeah. then you are technically in Florida. Now, we are going to be looking at those particular destinations in more detail at a later point, particularly Fort Lauderdale. But today, we're going to talk about Florida in general. So we're not going to look specifically at Fort Lauderdale in as much detail as we will at a later point. Now, superficially, Florida's attraction are no secret. Blissful beaches, amazing theme parks, fabulous shopping and nightlife makes this a no-brainer. And as the locals say, whether for families, couples, seniors or solo travellers, they have it all. But dig below the surface and what at first might seem a two-dimensional destination of theme parks and sunshine bursts into vivid 3D with an array of possibilities that keep people coming back year after year. Florida has a real ability to surprise. It has America's oldest city, San Augustine, a rich Native American heritage with a Seminole tribe, a legacy of early 20th century expansion, Henry Flagger's railroads, and the home of space exploration at the Kennedy Space Center. Not only are the theme parks works of art as well as a great source of excitement, Florida also has the landscapes and the wildlife to appeal to nature lovers. But let's start with the obvious. Let's start with Walt Disney World, a 47 square mile playground featuring four theme parks, two water parks, four golf courses, and a Disney Springs district of shops, restaurants, and nightlife, as well as water sports, fishing, horse riding, and more. The 22 themed hotels are among the best in Florida and designed for most budgets. While the creativity and entertainment quality of the park, such as Epcot, really wows all comers. The now let's move on to the Magic Kingdom, home to Cinderella's Castle, Gaston's Tavern and the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, which inspired the film, is truly magical. Now you can meet all your favourite characters like Mickey Mouse, Rapunzel and Buzz Lightyear, or a visit to a galaxy far, far away in Disney's Hollywood Studios, where Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma are waiting to parade their stormtroopers. Now moving on to my personal favourite, and this is Universal Orlando. Now Disney's big competition consists of two full theme parks, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, both of which include a Harry Potter section dedicated to J.K. Rowling's Boy Wizard, plus the entertainment district of City Walk and four themed hotels. You can meet all your favourite superheroes on the Marvel Superhero Island, survive a security breach in Jurassic Park or enjoy a burger and a duff beer in Homer Simpson's stomping ground Moe's Tavern. Now, Next up, Bush Gardens, and at SeaWorld's sister park this is, um, it's kind of like a bigger, bolder version of Chester and World of Adventures, with better weather basically. Uh, the African theming is mixed in with great coasters, large scale shows and animal savannas, plus a Sesame Street area that captivates preschoolers. It's a unique blend of thrilling rides, uh, one of the country's premier zoos with more than 12,000 animals, also live shows, restaurants. Next up, Legoland Florida, the newest part of the Lego empire and also its biggest. Um, it's got a wonderful lakeside setting, aims to please kids aged between 2 and 12, and uh, has several large-scale coasters and a water park included. Now, when NASA pensioned off its space transport system, otherwise known as the Space Shuttle, in July 2011, there was enormous interest from America's various museums and parks in grabbing one of the three surviving orbiters. The contest between half a dozen bidders was intense. 
Now the Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Atlantic coast, a mere 45 minutes drive from Universe, won the last of the trio, Shuttle Atlantis. And this symbol of peaceful cooperation now makes its home on the Space Coast. Now nature fans and those keen to see the real Florida should visit Forever Florida. And this is an expansive opportunity to get to know the local flora and fauna and find some sharp thrills courtesy of a zip line eco park. Established as a tribute to the gifted young eco-botanist Alan Broussard, um, this is on his parents' 4,700 acre ranch. This preservation project offers wildlife safaris, horse riding, camping, ranch activities and that unique eco park. Next up, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, which is home to Winter the Towler's Dolphin and star of the films Dolphin Tale and Dolphin Tale 2. Winter really is the star attraction and the whole aquarium is very much based on education rather than doing too showy. There are no shows as such, but daily programs in which show you about the life of the dolphins, which like Winter cannot be released back into the wild. There's also sea turtles, otters, pelicans, sharks, rays, and much, much more. And there are some excellent behind the scenes tours, boat adventures, and animal encounters, which you can also get involved with. Now, of course, can't talk about Florida without talking about the Everglades, and there simply is nowhere on earth like this vast subtropical wetland. It's spread over three million acres, and it's become one of the world's largest conservation areas as the government tries to restore vast tracts that have been lost to ill-conceived drainage projects. The best way to explore it, of course, is on one of the huge giant airboats. Airboats, yep. You know, which Gentle I Ben. Gentle Ben, I know. I love, used to love watching Gentle Ben. And they're so loud that you can't even hear yourself think. It's incredible, but it's an amazing experience to go out and see the gators and much, much more. Now, we can't speak about Florida without mentioning the beaches. They're spectacular, and each and every one is as picturesque as the films portray. In total, there are 567 different beaches with a total beach length of 1,146 miles. Mm -hmm. Our favourites are Miami Beach. Uh, take the intimate 21st to 45th Street Beach in Miami, just a small stretch of paradise with sporadic lifeguards and snack huts, complemented by some of Miami's most luxurious hotels and exclusive beach huts. The most famous Miami Beach boardwalk runs through it, making it a bit more than perfect for anyone looking to join the millions of exercise fanatics for a jog early in the morning. On now to Clearwater Beach. There's beautiful white sands and clear shallow waters make this beach an ideal playground for families. But really, everyone loves a beach this gorgeous. From the activities along the palm lined beach walk promenade to the serene shores of the Sand Key Park, you're sure to find the perfect spot in the Sand Clearwater Beach. And finally, it will be St. Peter's Beach. Um, in fact, its shores include the longest undeveloped stretch of public beach in the county. You can live it up with a variety of water sports from parasailing and stand-up paddle boarding to windsurfing and kiteboarding. I mean, if you stay through to the evening, you can head to the Drunken Clam, well known by the locals. It's a small beach bar which is open up early in the morning and late at night and serves up fresh wings and cocktails. Perched on the Gulf of Mexico in southwest Florida, Naples is well known for its high-end shopping, world-class culture and sophisticated dining. But Naples is also an affordable family destination which appeals to nature lovers and beach aficionados. Fifth Avenue, South and Third Street South are the focal points for Naples shopping in the historic downtown area with numerous art galleries, uh, chic clothing boutiques, swanky eateries and even home decor shops. Now located just a short ride from the Florida Everglades and close to Naples, Marco Island is the largest and only developed land in Florida's 10,000 islands. This Gulf Coast retreat offers luxury resorts, beautiful beaches and unspoilt parks. The tropical climate of Marco Island is a considerable attraction to the area, with the water being the next major attraction. Now narrated boat tours of the park run on a daily basis and Briggs Nature Centre features a half mile boardwalk where Marco Island visitors can observe wildlife in its natural habitat. Then on to the Keys. Now for those seeking to escape to tranquil surroundings, make the journey south towards the Key West, the southernmost point of the United States. Now in Key West you're in for a real treat. This tropical island city has crystal clear waters, breathtaking sunset and a whole host of attractions from quaint boat tours to diving and snorkeling. Now your journey across Seven Mile Bridge to reach Key West is definitely worth the ride. Now we're moving on to golf, one of my uh, personal favourites. And of course, with beautiful sunshine and glorious weather all year round, this creates the perfect climate for a round of golf. And Tampa has gained a reputation as one of the top destinations in the US for this sport, with several world-class courses located in and around the city. In fact, there's more golf courses in Florida than in any other state. Keeping up that sports theme, the Sunny State is also home to basketball champions Miami Heat 
and the NFL stars of the Miami Dolphins. So be sure to catch a game and soak up the atmosphere of the city's passionate supporters. Well, before we sadly say goodbye for this episode, it is worth noting that when you do book your cruise and stay with Planet Cruise, it's not just hotels that are on offer for Florida. We can arrange beachfront condos, apartments, palatial mansions, and much more. And if you're planning to visit one or more of the parks, then you can also save yourself some money by pre-booking that with us before you fly. If in doubt, pick up the phone and give one of our cruise travel experts a call. Now the best ways to contact us, you can email us at hello at planetcruise.com or you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. Plus, don't forget to follow us on YouTube where you can subscribe for all the latest videos, deals and of course cruise news. So, time for your comments. Thanks again for getting in touch. The first one's from Andrew Griffiths. He says, very pleased with the way that Paul Sharp dealt with my initial inquiry and how well he dealt with all the questions during the booking process and how knowledgeable he was about the ship and the places we'll visit. So, thanks for that well, comment, Charlie. Andrew. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for another one of our Planet Cruise specials. Cheers, guys.